definitely be good. Looks like we have a polo heading over. Mm -hmm. um, ironically, wearing a polo, or not ironically, ironically, yeah. is, it's like, if he wasn't, it would be ironic, but he is. He is so wearing a polo. That's the first thing I, told, I said to him today. Yeah. Oh my God, it's polo, polo in, in a polo. polo. <laughs> yeah, so, um, looks like this will be fun. Like you said, it's in general a pretty exciting matchup, both to watch and to play, I would say. Mm -hmm. I think like, uh, the kind of air wobbling, I think Falcon sort of really does it here, yep. especially on FD. Um, it's yeah. just an interesting matchup in general. Yeah, I, I don't play a lot of Captain Falcon, but whenever I do practice him, I love to practice comboing against a Marth. <laughs> it's just one of the most satisfying uh, weights of characters to play against. It really is. It definitely feels like you can use your full imagination with your toolkit there. Yeah, he just has like, I don't know, it's like he just has so many ways to open him up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Polo with the floral face mask. I kind of like it. Kind of looks like he's stretching right now, or what's going on? I think it's a stretch, looking like he's stretching out his shoulder blades. Yeah, all right. I wonder if that's a bit of a kind of injury thing or what. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes there can actually be sort of like pain you can develop in by rolling your shoulders forward. It can kind of pinch nerves in your arm. Yeah, I definitely suffer from that in my right shoulder blade. So... Gamer injuries, man. You know, yeah. worth mentioning that uh, Shout out to the event Myo organizers Detox. here. We have a uh, physio on site, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, on but. site physio, Myo Detox. Yeah. I saw Kevin in there, uh, tournament organizer. I'm sure he's uh, stressed out as usual whenever running oh events, God, but yeah. he got himself a, a massage. He said he's never felt better. So what do they do, like hand massages or something? Like They definitely do hand massages, and I think they also, I've, I've seen some people get some stuff on their back too, uh, back and shoulders. I'm should, sure they'll do whatever. Um, Are they still doing it after this? Maybe I should. I, you not. definitely should. It is. I, it, it is free. Um, you don't have to pay anything. But yeah, if if their booth is open and they're still up, I would do it. Yeah. It. It is. Uh, I see people shouting out the uh, looks of the Smashers. Beautiful British Columbia. They're calling it. Thank you guys. Uh, you know, I'm sure the players appreciate it. All the compliments. But um, if they're watching this back after the fact. But um, mm -hmm, BBC mm -hmm. BC has the most right. attractive so, smashers. Let's so go. Uh, that's probably something we shouldn't say on stream. But just as I say that, Polo versus Unruly, we got losers semis. Both of these playing for their tournament life in one of the most chaotic matchups in the game. Let's mm -hmm. see how it plays out. Here we go. Oh, Polo gosh. ripping the 306 tag. Love Is that it. like an area code? That's an area code, yeah. Him and Amrak rock that tag. Oh, Which 306, area code three, is that? 306 also unruly. They, so I don't even know if it's an area. I think it's an area code, but I don't know why. I, I would think it's 604, right? But 306, that where are they from? I don't know. Um, so Surrey. Yeah, I, I, I guess think, so. I think it's Surrey. I, I'm not BC enough to know. Like I know that 604 is one, and yeah. 778 is one. But I, I'm Ontario, so I'm used to the 416, uh, the legendary 416, some would say. But, uh, the legendary. You know, the, the, the Drake uh, made famous. But, uh, oh, okay. The 6, but uh, yeah, that's what my phone number is. So I, t I take great pride. It's not an area code, it's from a story from my birthday. Oh. Uh, Dorsey's saying it in the chat. Thank you. That's good. I definitely, okay. 306, I love it. That's fun, yeah. I think it's always cool to have like these little inside jokes from players, but uh, so far this has been really, really close. Um, tech chase situation could be a big opportunity. Oh, the stomp big stomps, oh, gets the tech chase with the, with the up air. Oh, but this is big as well. I like the DI to grab the ledge, just making sure to not get any down tilts or anything cheeky from Marsh. Falcon, one of oh. the few characters in the game that actually has a pretty good tournament winner. Jumps very high off of it. Um, not sure if that was on purpose or not, but it's not the worst mistake to make. Definitely. Good patience underneath the platform. Knew that if he could get an opener, you know, play it safe, go for the up air, not too heavy of a commitment, and get such a like big reward from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that DI sent him straight into the blast zone. And here we are on our last stock. This is going to be huge for whoever can win this first game. You know, Unruly has been going for a lot of... Uh, which I realized once again we're reversed. I don't, I, like Unruly has got to sit in a different chair, man. Um, <laughs> at least this way it's easy to tell because Unruly is the uh, Marth. Yeah, we know that Unruly is Marth. But uh, yeah, Unruly has been going for like a lot of reads off of the forward airs. So mm -hmm. he'll kind of like run off stage and then like wait a bit and then forward air. 
and it's like, like there's no way for it not to be a read. And then same thing with like Falcon will be running in and he'll be kind of spacing and he'll just be like, I'm going to throw out a forward air. And he's just been zoning a Polo off of that. So clearly oh. the 306 means that they play a lot together too because he's got a read on how he wants to go in. Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. And a nice first stock from Polo. But yeah, you know, this up tilt should be a, a pretty big deal. Um, didn't get too much from him. A good shielding from Polo. But... Oh, I'm really like the gets the there. tipper. See if he can do anything with this edge guard. Nice jab. Polo makes it back. Oh, Ooh, just barely, barely misses Reverse that fair. No, goes for the thing. This is still a tech chase situation, but a little slow on the F smash. Too much start up on it. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, goes for the up air. Uh, up B, sorry, rather. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Up B with Marth. Really good option. You know what else is really good option with Marth is Crouch Cancel, man. Oh my god. Crouch Cancel. Go for the read again. Kind of questionable at that high of a percent. You know, that's the kind of call out you do when they have, like, you have to call out an option aggressively. They're at, like, 15. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Looks like Unruly is just really comfortable trying to go, as you said, going for this forward air, and he just knows that. Polo can't really do anything about him just up being back to stage. So I think that's just uh, one of the gimmies that he's just going for. If I get you, I get you. And if I don't, I'll probably make it back. Definitely. And uh, Polo already with a pretty solid lead so far. But this tech chase situation is huge. Going to go for the up throw. Doesn't opt for it. Oh, Still getting more excellent. and more percent. Oh my god. Staying on him. Oh, that was kind of a questionable tech from Polo. Teching in, uh, giving Unruly a way to cover it. And I guess the power shield still going, really. Like, the pressure has not really ended mm -hmm. until about now. We're back yeah. to neutral. neutral. There we go. Polo starting to get his openings again. Oh, wow. A couple of nice down tilts. All right. Faces at this stomp. Ooh, Phantom, Phantom stomp. Oh, oh my god. No. A little unfortunate, but Polo is not losing at this point. Staying in the corner so far, just not really oh. able to get out. I kind of don't mind the up B. Gives him center stage in the end, actually. And just goes for a forward smash at zero and gets 19% from there. Pretty solid, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Unruly, definitely not afraid to just let it rip. Yeah, gets called out for the mix-up off of the ledge, uh, going for the wave land in place. Not safe, but can be kind of good to mix in every once in a while. But this is a tech chase opportunity. Could be pretty big. Oh, almost with the shield poke there, just a little bit off. Oh, just uh, barely Just spacing. another miss. He this keeps on the, just barely missing those forward smashes. I'm telling you, that's the, like, I don't play this character for life. I play this character on the side. On the side, you know? But... Maybe he will after after this tournament. Like I, I don't really know. Still, yeah. uh, I, I have full faith in uh, Unruly as a player. I know if he keeps up, Marth, it's only going to get better. <coughs> but we, oh, there we go. <laughs> we I see mean, the we, character switch. I mean, we saw his fox do some work against SP earlier, uh, against what I thought would happen. Uh, actually, it's my sure. predictions. Yeah. No, his fox looks very, very, very capable. Uh, I would say it's probably a better matchup too. Look at these techs, man. So remember, we'll... he's literally doing his best impersonation of Polo when he was playing against Webway with these crazy ledge techs mm -hmm. um, going back up off stage. And you know, unruly down a stock so far. Unruly down a stock, yeah. So <clears throat> pre-COVID, what I heard is that they BC BC's best player pre-COVID was unruly. He had a winning matchup, or at least tying matchup, against every player in BC. Uh, but because COVID happened, they kind of cut the PR season short, and they didn't redo it. So uh, about, about a year and a half or two years ago, when offline was still a thing, Unruly was the current leading player in British Columbia. Pretty interesting um, fact. I didn't really know that. Um, I know that after he switched off of Peach, he dropped from the PR. So I was not really sure where, where his skill was going to be. but. Um, that's what I heard pretty recently. Yeah, so definitely one of PC's best right now, which is yeah, really cool that he's playing so very, many different very, very characters capable. and still uh, competing at this level. Well, I think that's the kind of stuff that, like, you know, people become a fan of. Like, they're like, oh, like, I want to see the Unruly Fox. Oh, no, I love the Unruly Marth. Like, I think, you know, it's a bit premature to say that right now, but, like, he clearly has a ton of potential, already a really solid player, mm -hmm. could easily be making it to uh, Grand Finals. And 
Like, what a good Fox, what a good Marth, man. Yeah, that's excellent. He's got... Definitely has some stuff with two of the best characters in the game. Also has a Peach, which is excellent for certain matchups, excellent for doubles. He's got himself a roster. Yeah, and he's busted out literally everything. Also, like, the doubles champion, worth mentioning for anyone who was just tuning in, and really took it with Sunsei, so... Yeah, in a very exciting Game 10 Grand Finals against Webwipe and Espy. Yeah. All right, up tilt, yeah. Here we go. Let's Check see if Polo can clean this one up. So one of the things about this matchup that I think is kind of interesting is both Ooh. characters have such a reaction-heavy playstyle, or at least the potential for such a reaction-heavy playstyle, you know? Mm -hmm. They're both so fast. Captain Falcon, um, really one of the, like, Fox is one of the few characters that can kind of contest his speed, even if he's uh, a little bit slower, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and both of them just, like, so fast, able to kind of react to every situation, pretty much, if they're positioning properly. But Polo positioning himself all the way to a game four. <laughs> all know. the way into a game four, yeah. yeah. With a lead, 2-1 over Unruly. Yeah. So, I heard of Mr. Game & Watch, but no, we're back to Marth. We're back to Marth. So Fox must have been a Yoshi's Story-specific character for Unruly going into Wasn't this set. Wasn't that Dreamline? Or Dreamline-specific, I'm sorry, we're yeah. A, we're losing our mind. I am losing my oh, mind. Oh, it's Yoshi's now. Now it's Yoshi's. So this is back to Marth, which is a good choice. Can you imagine if they were like, oh, uh, Polo's playing Marth right now? I'd be like, what? what? Oh my god, what? if they told they'd be us like, that. Yeah, 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 Unruly is the Falcon right now. I, 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 I quit no, commentary no, for good. No, no, <laughs> no. Like, wake up, wake up. It's all a dream, man. Like, SB and them, they're playing the same character. <laughs> so, if, yeah, if you guys missed, uh, we commentated an entire set where we thought they were the wrong people because the uh, things were switched. But it's going really well right now, guys. Yeah, it's going excellent right now. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, I love, it. I love it when you're comboing and you get the Shy Guys in there. Just a couple, a couple extra hitboxes. Yeah, exactly. You know, just, you're just, just feeling like, yeah, you could get the extended uh, hitbox. It's like, a, you know, it's like a special edition DVD, but it's like a hitbox. It's like yeah, it's the, the extended, cut. the director's cut of, of forward air. You know, mm -hmm. you, they wanted forward air to be good, but you know, at one point it was even better. The hitbox was huge, and that's what you get with the Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah, uncut. Unreleased For, footage. Forward air uncut when it's literally a blade is just like also <laughs> on its own. There's just so many levels of like <laughs> this very silly thing. But speaking back to the match, mm -hmm. Unruly with a very solid lead and kills with there a down we smash. Go. Oh my gosh. Unruly is looking poised to take this game four. I actually think it's super cool that he switches characters this often. I think at first I was kind of doubting it if he's like staying one, but like the fact that he's just like. He's mixing the matches. It's like a little like cocktail for him. He's mm -hmm. just like, I'll throw in some Fox, I'll throw in some Marth, yeah. I'll throw in whatever stage I'm feeling like. Yeah when, he, yeah, when he has three different characters he's choosing from, he really has very few weak stages. Yeah, you know, like again, I, I think the only person that really comes to mind is Mewtwo King. Yeah, exactly. I think no one else really does this. And like, it's, it's, it's fun, it's different. Like, it's not what you're used to seeing. It's kind of like the opposite of, like, you know, like the Renaissance man of Melee, I guess. Like, able to play so many different styles and characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a game where you're always told, you know, focus on one character if you want to improve the fastest. We have a guy out here improving at, you know, an equally as fast rate with three characters. For that we know of, man. That like, we know like, of. He, yeah. was, he was flicking with the Game & Watch earlier. For all we know, you know, he's got a roster even deeper. But that is such a big and important oh, upbeat. Wow. This is it doesn't get punished, but even still, kind of puts him in a bad situation. Oh and my gosh, this is the momentum that Polo was looking for. Oh my oh, gosh, it doesn't slow get up. Invincible up there from the ledge. Oh, Closes there we go. Out. Polo and Unruly. 3-1, Polo over Unruly. Yeah, that everything was going well for Unruly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a huge comeback. I was, yeah. Everything was looking, un, you know, everything was looking unruly. It was three stocks to one. Yoshi's story. I was hyping him. Polo man. with That's a why. mega comeback. I hit him with the hype. I was like, unruly. Can play so many characters. Can yeah. play Game & Watch, potentially. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, finally, after all this time, we're believing in him. Yeah. And look what happens. That's, just don't believe in each other, guys. Just That's, that's the main... Uh, story here. 